and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be another Dollar Tree haul. Yes, I know in my previous Dollar Tree haul, I did say I wasn't going to do another one for another few weeks another few weeks or like a month because I wanted to wait until we pulled out more fall items. But I love the Dollar Tree and I ended up back in the Dollar Tree, of course, because my son really wanted to go. So any excuse to go. So I went, I found a lot of really cute stuff. I have about three bags here of goodies. So I figured I would go ahead and share with you guys what I found this time around. But before I jump in to this Dollar Tree haul, I do want to quickly mention that it is an exciting video because I'm going to be collabing with one of my sweet friends here on YouTube. Her name is Jeannie. If you guys have been following me for a while, then you already know who she is because I have collabed with her a few times in the past. But if you guys are not familiar with her, over on her channel, she does a lot of couponing and saving money types of videos, shopping videos, hauls. So you guys can get a lot of ideas and tips on how to save money and how to use coupons. I'm always watching her videos to get tips and tricks because I suck at that type of things because I suck at using coupons or remembering to use coupons. So she shows a lot of great tips and tricks on how to save money. She's also a fellow YouTube mama and she also just found out she is pregnant. So her and her family are expecting another sweet bundle of joys. So once you are done over here watching my Dollar Tree haul, Go head over to her channel and show her some love. Let her know that I sent you and see all the goodies that she was able to find at her local Dollar Tree. I know depending on where you live, you can find different things at different Dollar Trees. So it's always fun seeing what everyone finds at their local stores. So like I said, all of her information will be linked down below. You guys will love her. She is amazing. So please go show her some love and let her know that I sent you. If you are coming over from Jeannie's channel, then welcome. My name is Jillian. I'm a stay at home mom to two. I'm also a special needs mom to my daughter who is autistic. And over here on my channel, I enjoy doing a variety of videos. I mostly do like cleaning and organizing style videos, but I do throw in a few vlogs and shopping and also haul videos. So if you guys are into any of those types of videos, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and become a part of my YouTube family. But enough of my rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into this haul. I do apologize if you guys hear a lot of background noise. It is my kids. They are home. It is summer. So let's jump in to bag number one. Now everything is all mixed up so I do apologize about that but I did buy some um, back to school stuff for my kids. Although they will be doing virtual school, they still needed a few supply items. I'm not gonna show you guys everything I got just because a lot of the stuff is boring like glue and markers and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys a few things. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that my son is obsessed with dinosaurs. So I found this notebook. It is Jurassic World notebook and I grabbed this for him. They didn't have this on the supply list, but I figured he can still use it. So I grabbed him this one and then he found this one and he really wanted it as well. So I just grabbed it for him and it's a composition notebook and it's yeah, another dinosaur notebook. So I grabbed him this and he's using this to like just draw and doodle in. He loves it. Then I also grabbed this dry erase board. This was on the supply list. They said they needed a dry erase board. So I just grabbed this one for him. And then I grabbed two folders, one for Ryan and one for Madison. So of course, Ryan's is a dinosaur. So hopefully after semester one, they will return back to school. So all their schoolwork that they will be doing, I had to put in a folder to send to school with them. So I figured I would go ahead and um, put all of his work in here. And then for my daughter, Madison, I just grabbed her this one. Kind of looks like a mermaid. Um, type of folder i thought it was really cute so i grabbed her this one so all of her work i will put in this folder i also found this i've never seen this sign at my local um dollar tree so i was super excited to find it and it's just a wooden heart and it says wi-fi sweet wi-fi password is and then you put your wi-fi password anytime you have guests you know they're always asking for a wi-fi password you now i do have a cute little wi-fi sign kind of like this i got from hobby lobby but that's in my guest bedroom i don't have one out like in the kitchen or living room so i thought this would be really cute to maybe put in the kitchen or the living room just so when i have guests they have the wi-fi password without having to bother me about it i also found two pumpkins let me see where the other one is um these two pumpkins i've never seen at my dollar tree i found it this time around and i grabbed them just because i thought they were really cute although i'm pretty sure i already have enough pumpkins but i don't know i just grabbed it maybe i'll decorate my bedroom this year 
it's all the pumpkins I have, but they are white ceramic pumpkins and I got two different sizes and the top is gold. And then if you guys can see, it has like some leaves on it. And I just thought they were really cute. So I grabbed two of them. I think they had either like a bluish or like dark army green color. I know they had another color, but I just went with the um, white and gold one. And then talking about fall, I found this sign I thought was really cute. And it just says farm fresh handpicked pumpkins daily. Has a picture of pumpkins with a little sunflower in this little leaf up here, this metal. Now I'll probably spray paint this a different color. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I also might do a DIY craft with this. I don't know. I just thought it was really um, cute. So I grabbed this sign. I also grabbed for um, school, hopefully if they ever return back to school. I bought a bunch of these lunchbox notes last year and I found some new ones this year and I had to grab them because some of them are dinosaurs. And like I said, my kid loves dinosaurs. So it comes with six different designs. One of them is blank. So you can write a little note to your kids. So this is just little notes that you can put in the kids lunchbox. So when they're at school, they can see it and it makes them happy. And anytime I put these in the kids um, lunches for school, they love it so i thought that was a really cool find because i haven't seen them out since last year so next is something else for the kids so i've never seen these either at my local dollar tree but these are kind of like the melissa and doug ones that i really love and they are called magic water painting i hope these work good because i was super excited when i found it so basically you put water in this little pen and then they can color and draw on the pages it comes with 16 different um pages but what i like about it is that it is reusable so once they are done like coloring or whatever they want to do on the page they just take a wet like paper towel or cloth clean it off and then they can do it all over again so it's super fun for them this is also great for like road trips and stuff so i grabbed the dinosaur one for ryan and then i grabbed this little mermaid one for madison and yeah this one also comes with 16 reusable um different pictures so something really fun and I think it's a really great price for a dollar for the kids. Next is going to be a travel game so we do take a lot of road trips we don't really ever fly anywhere so this is really great for road trips so we do have a road trip coming up for fall I think in October we are going up to the mountains so I figured I'll just grab this now and um, save it for that but basically it is for the road to keep them entertained it has 20 activities and it works with just the wipe off markers. So a bunch of different pages that they can draw and play games in. And I like that just like the water one, they can wipe it off and keep on playing with it. So I grabbed one of these. Next is just going to be a box of band-aids. It comes with 30 colorful band-aids. So the kids were out of band-aids, they needed some new ones. I let Brian choose any one he wanted and he wanted the colorful ones. So I grabbed that. Next few things are going to be a bunch of socks. So if you guys have never bought socks from Dollar Tree, I would definitely give them a try. I think they are great quality, especially for only a dollar. So this is the Essie brand and it's really hard to find cute boy socks. I feel like I never find cute boy socks, but as far as girl socks, I always find a ton. Um, so I bought Madison one, two, three, four packs and they are all the Essie brand and each pack comes with two so this one has a little like unicorn bear on it and then this one is a pair of white socks with a bunch of colorful stripes this pack comes with some kittens and the color is like a mint green color and then this one is a pair of pink socks with white hearts i also got her this pack with a unicorn on it and then this one has some rainbows and then the last pack I got her is another pair of unicorn socks and they are purple and colorful it says love on it and then this one's just purple with white polka dots so like I said each pack comes with two and for a dollar I think that's a really great deal and they're good quality I always buy Madison this brand um, in Dollar Tree and they've lasted her a really long time and then the only pack I could find for Ryan that I thought were cute were these and of course they're dinosaurs they are a pair of black socks with this dinosaur. And then this one's just a pair of gray um, with some black stripes. And his comes with three. 
and then also has a pair of like navy blue. So he's the only pair of socks I thought were cute for him. So I grabbed him that. Next I found this I've never seen at my Dollar Tree either. And I thought it was really cute. I'm trying to decorate a shelf in my bedroom and I need things to put on it. And I figured I could put some pictures in here and they're really cute. It's for really tiny pictures, two by threes, but I just really liked the wood and the galvanized background how you can clip a picture so i just grabbed two you can even diy these like if you don't like that wood color you can totally paint it or do whatever you would like to it so grabbed two of those okay, so next is two books that i grabbed now dollar tree has a lot of really great books if you guys are into reading i would definitely check them out so i've even found target books at dollar tree and like cookbooks but i bought these two books not to read but to do a diy with i have been watching a lot of fellow youtubers that have been doing a lot of like holiday and fall diys and one of the girls i watch she did this she bought two books and then she took the cover off and she just flipped it inside out to where it was the white cover instead of you know like the um normal cover and then she took these gold rub-on transfers and she wrote something in fall i'm not sure what she wrote but i will probably put um like hello and then fall and have that as a decor item in the house depending on how that comes out if i like it then i'm gonna go back and buy two more books and then maybe put like a really cute quote or something on it but i'm gonna test it out first i've never used these rub-on transfers so i'm curious as to how well they will work so it doesn't say how many it comes with it just says rub on transfers and it is in gold i didn't see any other colors this is the only color i found so I just grabbed one pack of this and now I only have three more items and two are the same. So I love buying clips and hair bows for Madison from Dollar Tree. And I found these really cute ones. They are gold, large jumbo clips with a bunch of pearls on it. And I figured I could probably even wear these as well, but I bought them for Madison. I just got her a um, two pack or a one pack, but I got her two of them. And then the last thing I purchased is this magnetic planner to-do list and it has a magnet on the back so you can put like on the side of your fridge and then it has monday through sunday so i can write things that i need to do throughout the week because sometimes i forget i do have a planner that i write a lot of things in but sometimes i forget to open the planner and then i'll forget like an appointment or something so i feel like having this on the side of the fridge and writing every week things that we have to do like appointments or anything it'll just be easier for me to remember so this is the last item that i purchased all right, you guys, really quickly, don't mind. I was putting all the stuff back from a Dollar Tree and I forgot one thing that I purchased that I want to show you guys. And it's just a sign. And I think this design is new this year. I know I've gotten these in the past years, um, but I don't know, maybe it's not. But I also got this home sweet home sign. I was gonna grab two, but I just grabbed one for now. So I just wanna show you guys that really quickly because this was another item that I picked up this time around. Also, this is our new puppy. Her name is Maple. And I thought I would give her a little introduction to you guys. All right, you guys, so that is going to end my Dollar Tree haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I purchased this time around from Dollar Tree. If you guys missed my first Dollar Tree haul, I found a lot of really great finds in that haul as well. I will link it down below for you guys to check out. Also, guys, please do not forget to head over to my sweet friend Jeannie's channel and see all the great Dollar Tree finds she was able to find at her local Dollar Tree. Like I said, she also will be filming a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So all of her information will be linked down below. Thanks so much for watching. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.